Hey, it's the Empire, Geo Boxing Empire, Back Show Boxing. Now, man, Josh Taylor and my boy, Tia Fima Lopez, man. They've been in talks for fighting each other, man. Um, Tia Fima Lopez and Josh Taylor, you know, Tia Fima look, uh, he looked mediocre in his last performance, and Josh Taylor was struggling, at least in his last notable fight, with Josh, uh, with, with Catterall, right? Now, that being said, man, uh, this fight is for a disputed, you know, uh, T. Fimi Lopez is going up to 140 to start, uh, to try to be undisputed at 140, something he could not do at 135, you know, he was missing at WBC title from Devin the Dream Haney, and, you know, this is a really big deal, because this can re-legitimize T. Fimi Lopez if he can get past, uh, uh, Josh Taylor, who has some pretty, really good wins at 140, right? Um, that all being said, you know, the biggest progress win, um, you know, that was one of his marquee wins uh, in the division. And, you know, this is going to be a really big deal to see how this whole thing plays out because this is going to be, this should fight, this fight should be bigger than the uh, Javante Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia fight, you know. Uh, but the fact of the matter is um, they're still going through the paperwork and it's not finalized yet. So maybe when it's actually finalized, they'll actually step up production because this fight is for Undisputed. Again, you know, it possibly a, a challenging for Undisputed at least. And the Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis fight, there's going to be no titles on the line as far as I know. Um, now, there's been rumors about uh, 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 Josh Taylor dropping on the titles, but he hasn't done that yet. So, you know, that all being said, uh, we're going to see how this whole thing plays out because Josh Taylor, he's, he's a big dog, man. He's been dominating that 140 division for years. And you know, if 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 Tia Fima Lopez can uh, get this win, he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be that guy all over again. So we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out, man. Me personally, you know, I think that Josh Taylor is he's an elite fighter. He's big, you know, and and if uh, Tia Fima Lopez has never really fought a bigger puncher than him, a bigger fighter than him, and him fighting a big person like a, a Josh Taylor, a softball like that, you know, that's gonna give him a lot of problems, you know. Uh, because T. Fimo Lopez is his style is based off accuracy and, and power, and and what happens when he's fighting someone he he's smaller than and he can't really the accuracy power see, power thing won't really work on a on a bigger fighter because he's already bigger than him and quite frankly he's fighting a softball so the only thing you can do is lead straight rights right on a softball. Now he did beat uh, T. Fimo Lopez did beat a, a, a Vasil Lomachenko, but Lomachenko was scared of his power. Uh, Josh Taylor, man, he's an inside fighter. He's he's really good at, at throwing body shots. This would be a, a, a really good fight, man. Um, I think this is actually one of the more interesting fights um, that rivals uh, Devontae Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia because, I mean, Ryan Garcia might have a lot of fans, but, you know, a lot of people, you know, let's just say that T. Fimo Lopez versus Josh Taylor is more of a 50 50 fight than uh, Devontae Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia, in my opinion. You know, I, I think Tank is just too much for Ryan. Uh, Ryan has even fought for a title, you know, at least T, at least, uh, T. Fimo Lopez and, and Josh Taylor have been champions before. Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia 